feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank, coming to you from the Business Accelerant Studio. I'm Brad Berger, along with my co-host, Dan Whedon, and our guest today is Russ Shiplett with the Kitsap Building Association. We just had an intriguing and fun conversation with Russ, and to listen to the entire podcast, visit us at seattle.shrimptankpodcast.com or through iHeartRadio. You can still subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. We're always interested in your feedback, so please do not forget to rate us. So Russ, as the executive director of the Kitsap Building Association, what do you find that either your members or your industry is facing as one of the number one concerns? I think the number one concern right now in our association and all associations across the United States is workforce development and having to create a new workforce development for the for the aging um, builders, contractors, and so forth that are still out there. Okay. Because they're eventually going to be the owners of building uh, builders <laughs> later on, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and, you know, one of the things that you and I had talked about earlier was the whole concept that your association has a grant program to help with that. We didn't have a chance to talk about it in the podcast much. Can you talk about it here? Yeah, certainly. Uh, we, we decided early on that uh, we cannot instantly get classrooms back in the high schools. And so what we decided to do was take the program to them. So we created what's called a builder's grant program where we provide opportunities in five different focus areas, carpentry, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, painting and coating. We give those interns uh, $1,000. We give them $500 up front. We assign them with a mentor for six months. It's a paid internship that they do with a mentor, learning all about the trade over a six-month period of time. We check in with them at the three-month period of time, and if things are still going well as an incentive, we'll give them another $250. And at the end of the internship, we'll give them another $250, wow. so a total of $1,000 towards the grant. That yeah. money is directed to be spent, really, for buying the tools that they need, the safety gear that they need, and then taking certification exams and so forth. So we don't want that on the back of the mentor we're willing to take that responsibility on, financial responsibility on, for the mentor and then in partnership with the interns as well. So, Russ, you mentioned workforce development, and I, and I think one of the issues that, that we're facing generally in, in the construction trades here in the Puget Sound is you've got very, very highly qualified, you know, master technicians because uh, it's all that's left uh, to really do the uh, the work, which obviously they command a much higher price than uh, a, a tradesman or somebody who has a little bit less experience or is newer in the business just as capable. What ideas, solutions, or programs uh, is the association or the membership of the association kind of advocating for? Well, we're trying to make just awareness at all different levels and all different ages aware that the fact that there is a construction trade industry and it's a well-paid industry. And so, for example, what we're doing in our association is that we are trying to cover students uh, from first grade up till 24 years of age. <laughs> and the way that we do that is that through our fall show, we have something called Construction in Motion, which allows kids to see the heavy equipment, to be able to see how a home is built. Um, and then in the middle schools, we're trying to offer this summer, we're going to offer a camp where we take them to a job site and one day they're working with carpenters, the next day with electricians, the next day with plumbers, HVAC and painting and coating. So they get an opportunity to really kind of see it, uh, hands-on opportunity during the summer in a summer camp. And then finally with the Builder Grant Program, it's really targeted at, high, at uh, 18 to 24 years of age mm -hmm. and getting them interested into it as well. Well, Russ, we want to thank you for joining us. How can our listeners get in touch with you? Well, uh, it's pretty easy. Our website is uh, kitsapbuilds.com. And if you go there, you can find my information, my contact information, my phone number, and my email address. And then we also have information directly about the Builder Grant Program right there on our website. Great. 
Well, once again, this is just a taste of what you can expect by listening to the entire podcast. Listen to seattle.shrimptankpodcast.com or listen to us on iHeartRadio. You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. We'd love to hear from you, so please do not forget to rate us. Join us back in the tank next Wednesday, March 6th, when our guest will be Marnie Clark, who is going to talk to us about mocktails. She's got this whole mocktail revolution going on. And I want you to check out Facebook, the Seattle Shrimp Tank, on Facebook, at Seattle Shrimp Tank. Go do that, because right now, the hay is in the barn. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank, big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.